cancer-fighting gene therapy, an artificially intelligent robot on the ISS, and evidence of the oldest stars in the universe. You're watching This Week in Science. In a groundbreaking decision by the Food and Drug Administration, the United States approved a new type of gene therapy that uses a person's own cells to target and destroy cancer. Cancer research is normally extremely slow and extremely arduous, but this marks the first ever cell-based gene therapy to exit clinical trials and become available to the public in the U.S. The FDA commissioner noted, we're entering a new frontier in medical innovation with the ability to reprogram a patient's own cells to attack a deadly cancer. It's called CAR-T, and it works by using a patient's T cells. Doctors collect these types of white blood cells from a patient and edit them to carry a new gene which codes a particular protein so they attack cancer. The treatment has been approved to fight a particularly aggressive and lethal form of blood cancer called acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And the results so far have been, well, life-changing. Clinical trials have had a remarkable 83% remission rate, which shows just how effective this treatment could be. Earlier this week, we made major strides in more than just cancer research. In a mission that's a first of its kind, an artificially intelligent robot will soon be going to live on the International Space Station. The Crew Interactive Mobile Companion, nicknamed Simon, is a quirky little floating droid that will act as both a research assistant and companion to crew members aboard the space station. It will help out with day-to-day -day tasks and assess the well-being of astronauts. Simon could be the first in a new era of human and robot partnerships aboard the ISS, bridging the gap between humanity and artificial intelligence as we stretch farther into the cosmos. And as technology and science are hurtling us towards the future, Astronomers are looking to the stars and seeing into our distant past. For the first time in history, we have evidence of the oldest stars in the universe. Astronomers use a compact radio antenna to detect the faint light of stars that formed just 180 million years after the Big Bang, well over 13 billion years ago. These findings offer an unprecedented glimpse into the oldest reaches of our universe, allowing us to see the cosmic dawn. For years, researchers theorized that light emitted from these ancient stars would change the cosmic microwave background, also known as the CMB, which is the afterglow of the Big Bang. And deep in the Australian desert, a team collecting radio wave data finally confirmed this hypothesis. They found a clear dip in the CMB radio signals, an indication that they were watching the oldest stars in the universe form right before their eyes, billions of years ago. These findings not only give us insight into the formation of the universe's earliest celestial bodies, it could also help us solve one of the greatest mysteries in physics, the nature of dark matter.